to x5p.com. Use code CUTE at checkout. Link down below in the comments of me buying coins off this website so you can see how to do it step by step. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Right now, 500k is below $9. So stop wasting your money. Special shout out to Justin Ashley for joining the channel. If you guys want a shout out in the video, all you do is join the channel. Thank you for all support. It means everything. All right, guys, short and to the point, quarterback tier list. If you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new. I do at least three videos every single day. Now, if you're new, subscribe. Hit the like button, support the channel. Let's get started. Up next, with the top 10 running backs. After that, I need a third video. I think I'm gonna do the best pass play in Madden right now. And I'm gonna get you some easy touchdowns, all right? So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, wow. Steve McNair, S tier, love it. Great release, great abilities. He's in game, keep him, he's fine. Bryce Young, bad release, bad abilities. Stay away from this card, not good at all. Patrick Mahomes, outdated, even with abilities. Uh, bad release, stay away from him. Uh, Tom Brady can still barely get the job done. There's just cards that better release and better AP setup right now. I would stay away from him. CJ Strout is the best uh, rookie. So. He's going to be S tier. He's going to be very similar to Vic. Vic is left-handed, but they have like the same AP stack. Uh, they both get a playmaker for zero. So if you want to run around a uh, guy that's fun, they're very similar in that way. Ken Stabler is S tier. If you have them, there's no reason real, really to get rid of them. Uh, if you need the AP, I get it. But he's left-handed, and Justin Herbert is right-handed. So if you don't see Herbert on the list, I'm just trying to make this list go fast. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, nothing special. Bad release, not the best abilities. Trevor Lawrence, nothing special at all. Uh, Lamar Jackson's missing abilities. He does not get the big four. Gunslinger, separate lead, hot route master. Doesn't get it. So he's missing one of the big four. Cam Newton is absolutely horrible. Bad release, bad abilities. Do not get that card. Uh, Justin Fields is probably one of the worst 98s in the game. Bad release, bad cards, stay away from him. Uh, from that, gave him good abilities, gave him a bad release. So yeah, he's definitely not gonna be as good as like a Tebow. Tebow is left-handed, do keep that in mind. Tebow, however, uh, gets a lot of help with his Mutt Mission, like teammates. So he helps them, they help him, so keep that in mind. You can get 99 speed on this card, so keep that in mind. He does fumble. Uh, Randall has the same problem. I like Lamar better than him. Lamar has better release, but Randall has a worse release and doesn't get the four big abilities. Uh, I hear people in my comments say, well, that's who I use. Well, there's cards that get better AP setup, uh, better discounts, and a better release. So you're at a disadvantage. Drew Brees has Slinger 1, great ability stack as far as what is okay, it's not the best, but he gets the ball out, he's consistent, obviously he's not athletic. Anthony Richardson does not even get fearless, he's horrible, do not get this card, uh, yeah. I know he's a fun name, don't get him. Best AP setup in the game, Aaron Rodgers, get the big four abilities for two AP, if you need to save AP, go get Aaron Rodgers, he's in game, keep him forever, he's great. Joe Montana is amazing, great AP. Uh, both of them are obviously not athletic. So if you're looking for the athletic guy, you move semi athletic up on the list, right? Depends on what you want to do. Like I said, Justin Herbert is S tier. Uh, Ricky Williams is S tier. He has a good AP setup. He's a good runner. He does not get as good as AP setup as Aaron Rodgers. Keep that in mind. Uh, as far as these, if you want me to put these in order real quick for you, they're going to be very similar. Uh, if you, it depends if you want to run, then use them. If you don't, move Ken up. Uh, Steve's a better Ken, but more athletic. I would put Herbert in the middle. Tebow, you can move him up here if you like to run. He likes to fumble, though. Uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Be kind for no reason. Short to the point, if you like to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And up next, top 10 running backs. I'm going to let you know where does the new running back follow. Where does he fall, right, with LaDainian Thompson. 
And uh, yeah, guys, if I didn't get a quarterback, I'm trying to just keep it moving fast for you. Uh, put it in the comments. I'll let you know where he's at and where is he staying if you should get him. Be kind for no reason. Help each other. Encourage each other.